Look what I got. 12,000 watts in this little thing right here. Let's find out. Sound digital sticker, badass. Got some instructions, some Allen wrenches. Feels pretty hefty. Put those back in here for now. Look at this thing. 12,000 watts in a case this small. I'll believe it when I see it. Let's take it over here to the bench. I got a bunch of zero gauge wire over here that I can hook up. Got some RCAs ready to go. I've made a video. I've been really busy all month. I know I say it all the time, but I can't help it. We really are. A lot of stuff has happened during the month. For 2020, I decided to redo all of my drawings, all of my tool paths to make my machines more efficient in what they do so we can get the stuff cut a little bit faster. But in order to do that, I had to do everything that I make, which is like tons of drawings. Well, mission accomplished. Everything is working great. It's taking a little while to get it just right, but I know my YouTube channel is suffering a little bit because of it, but sometimes I just have to put this camera down and get to work. And that's exactly what I did. But I'm back at it right now. I got the F-250 outside. I got a box from Gately Audio I'm about ready to put in. Well, actually swap in, because I've already got one in there. And we'll test it out and see if it's any good. But right now, let's check out what I'm making. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, shut up. Okay. All right, for this first test, I'm gonna try out the new SMD QR2, two channel, Neo Magnet, terminal cup, removable, quick removable. See right here, you might've seen these before. The difference is, is I'm gonna be testing a 12,000 watt amp, so-called 12,000 watt amp and these are only rated for 2,500 watts a piece. The new style, I don't know, 
how much I should rate them for because it's a lot better than the originals. Um, but for right now, we're sticking to 2,500 each. So we got 5,000 watts worth of terminal plug here. I think it's gonna be a lot more than that. But what I did was I took the back and I bridged it with some of our little bridging bars. So now we've got positive and negative on one side. So basically it's something like that. And then we'll go straight into the amplifier with these two eight gauges. And then we'll have two eight gauges coming off of each side of here going into the amp dyno. Got some zero gauge wire ready to go, of course, is because of the test bench. Zero gauge grounds, zero gauge power wire. There's two of each on this thing. Put this bad boy up. We got zero gauge sky high. Got a zero gauge Rockford wire here. It's what I got on the test bench. It's not all matching. Put the RCA on. Of course we got the audio control crossover over here. It's not super necessary for this test, but gotta always have it on my bench so I know what I'm getting. I'm getting clean signal. Alright. Let's see how that goes. Should go good. God damn, will you look at those numbers right there? 13,867 dynamic RMS. Basically music. Certified is torture on these amplifiers. Uncertified is also torture. This right here is closer to music if you're playing something really dynamic. It's not peak, it's dynamic RMS. Kind of sounds weird, but that's what it is. And this thing is performing. Wow. I can't believe it. And it's performing through an SMD Neo Magnet Terminal. Almost 14,000 watts through this. Let's go ahead and put a single SMD Neo Magnet Terminal on this thing and test it again. All right, that was with an SMD QR2 bridged as I showed you earlier. And uh, it took the power no problem at all.
as you can see those were bridged now I'm about to unbridge them All right, so we're gonna put these away for a second. Of course, we got all this stuff right here. These are black lights. We use these to set our sun flash off. SMD sun flash resin. They make these neon trim pieces go haywire. Of course, that isn't the only choice. We have all the colors over here. Those are kind of fancy. We got all these different colors over here that we've been working on. We got blue on black. We got white and red. Every color you could think of we have. Some of these aren't built yet, but you can see we got chrome and white, which is actually mirror and white. It looks chrome. Uh, we did a little something for Petrohead Motorsports. This is a little sample that we made. We got purple. We got yellow. We got all kinds of stuff. I love all these, but for some reason this red and white one, I just love it. So. We'll bring this over. This is one of the first protos I made when I was developing the SMD QR1, the new one, the newer version. You can now put your own wires inside of these. So let's go see how it handles all that power, that 12,000 watt amp. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll reset this dyno and we'll pop this on. We 
Let's run it. Certified mono. Turn it up to 47, I think it is, 48, and we'll start the dyno, and unpause. All right, here we go. Look at that, 12,000 watts. Let me see if this thing. Nice. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna escape from that. Damn, that was a certified run through the Neo terminal. Jesus. Okay, uncertified, back to back. Okay, we're gonna run that one more time. Those wires twitch over there? I didn't see. They're gonna twitch, you're gonna notice it twitching a lot more when we run the dynamic, where it's pulling on it. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Look at that, through the SMD terminal. I'm just gonna tilt this up so you guys can see that. Oh yeah, we're still hooked up. God damn. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a dynamic test and we're going to call this thing done. Heck yeah. Is it hot enough? Huh? Is it hot or no? No. Not at all. No. <laughs> Nice little numbers, nice little numbers. Twelve thousand three hundred and eighty two watts. I'm gonna press pause so I don't get shocked. These things aren't even you can't even feel them, they just feel cool. I may have to raise the ratings on these things. From 2,500 watts, maybe to 5,000 watts a piece, just to be safe. But I'm pushing 12,000 watts through it. It's kind of crazy. Maybe I should run like that. Eight gauge wire. 12,000 watts through that terminal. I can't believe it. I'm gonna do some more extensive testing on this, where I'm gonna let it run for maybe a couple hours straight, and then I'll get the final determination. But that's not bad at all. But one thing you need to see is the way that all these wires are twitching. The positive wires and the negative wires are twitching every time this thing hits. Okay, so I'm gonna run this test again while you guys are watching the cables. It's on track one, it's turned up, start dyno. Ready, bud? Mm. Watch that black cable. And then uh, we move over here to this red cable afterwards. All right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that, 12,674 watts. Let's run it again and watch that cable. You 
set dyno. Dude, even these speaker cables are moving. Let's run that again and watch these speakers. Look, by the way, 12,982 watts through the SMD QR1. Doesn't feel warm on the back or anything. Let's run it one more time. I mean, I'm running these back to back to back. So, I mean, if anything, this amp isn't liking it, but so far it's doing great. Okay, so we'll reset the dyno again. And we're gonna watch these speaker cables on the SMD QR1. Not even a little bit warm. Wow. Hey, in conclusion, I gotta say, this 12,000.1D Evo X, I mean, I've been torturing it right in front of you, and I'm gonna continue to torture it with this terminal a little bit later. It's holding up, it's putting out consistent, way over 12,000 watts. Even certified is really, really good. That's a torture test. But 13,000 watts dynamic, the cables are twitching. These big ass zero gauge power and ground cables, they're twitching. <laughs> Sound digital for the win, and I'm out. Alright, that was a fun test. That amp's putting out a lot of power. I'm real happy with my terminal cups. I believe that an amp is capable of doing more than the 12 or 13,000 watts that we just put up. Of course, my power supply is only a 10,000 watt power supply, 650 amps. So it's giving it everything that it has. So I believe if you're able to push more power into that amplifier, you're gonna get a lot better results than even 13,000 watts. But when a 12,000.1D puts up 12,000, 13,000 watts on a 10,000 watt power supply, I'm feeling pretty good about its numbers. I really do need to up my situation and I totally plan on it for 2020. It's gonna be a lot of fun amp tests coming up soon. Thanks again for watching and uh, yeah, I'm out, see ya.